How's everybody doing out there? This is John Register with your Thursday Inspired Thought. Actually, we're going to make this a thought for the whole freaking year, right? We talk about technology. We talk about the things that are going on within the side of the prosthetic world. And I'm here with Mitch from Australia, and this is going to blow you away, folks. It's going to totally blow you away, totally rad. So now I am an above the amputee, and so is Mitch. But see, my leg is like this. And I got this hardcover socket that's on, right? And it's just always hurting me, and I got to kind of, this is all weird and stuff. So, uh, but, but Mitch has, has got to, just keep oh, this way. Yeah, okay. It'll, 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 it'll freak a little Okay. So what Mitch has got is, is this amazing, violent, graded thing on his leg. Take a look at this guy's leg. As you can see, it's integrated in. No hard thing. It's totally rad. So, so why did you, why, Mitch? Why did you get this leg? I mean, you work, work, work in a hard socket like yeah. mine. So, so why did you uh, get this leg? Look, similar to yourself, mate. I had that for about two years, the suction prosthetic, and uh, just being young and active, it just was slowing me down. Uh, straight out, it was just holding me back. Um, I had a lot of heat problems, a lot of problems with the rashes, and just uh, being uncomfortable. So I saw this and uh, had the operation. I was very fortunate it was in my hometown in Sydney. I uh, had the operation two years ago now and uh, I haven't looked back. Um, <laughs> so how long did the operation take? It's a two-stage operation. Uh, it, 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 first stage, you're in there for about a day, a day to two days, depending on... It's, it's a very individual thing, okay? Um, so then, then you go home, you rest for three to four weeks, let the implant take, then you go back and you have the second stage. And then you're in hospital again for another couple of days, maybe a week or two, and you start load bearing straight away. You literally walk out of hospital though. Well, so they, they stick something into the bone. That's right. Yeah, they straight up in. in well, I mean, what is it like? Like a metal pole, or I mean, what? <laughs> yeah, in layman's terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. For everyone out there, just like sticking a metal pole up there, and it integrates. It integrates. Into and the then, bone. so you can you can actually change out different prosthetics. Yes, yeah, yeah, so I've got a, probably similar to yourself, I've got a shower leg, I've got a leg that I use for snowboarding, different legs for different things, and they just clip off and clip back on, um, and, and it's, like, it's unbelievable. Uh, where, where I've noticed a lot is, is in my gym, uh, as I mentioned, I own a gym, so for me, fitness is, is the number one priority, uh, and I'm very active, being, getting up and down off the floor, sitting, standing, uh, you know, doing stuff with clients, right. and it's phenomenal. So, so is this, I mean, this is, looks, looks so incredible, is this for everybody? It's not for everybody. Because yeah. um, if you have two legs, you probably don't want to cut yeah. one off just to get yeah. this, right? I mean, look, it is cool. You might want to do that. But it's a good party trick and a good pickup line. Um, but yeah, it's not for everybody. Uh, at, back home in Australia, there's a, there's a process where they wean out a lot of people. Um, and, and, and some individuals just won't, won't want something sticking out of their body. Um, so yeah, it's, unfortunately, it's not for everybody. But I, I do believe uh, that it, it is the way of the future. Uh, once you and, and the worst thing is if you don't like it, you can take it out and go back to the, the suction. Uh, so it's nothing, you know, it's, you're not losing anything. You, you're trying something, and, and I, I'm guaranteed if you try, you won't go back. Wow. So I, I, you know, now you know, every time I see something like that, my leg just kind of goes like this. It's a little crazy. Uh, so I want to show you both the, the difference between my leg. Mitch's leg, and we'll see maybe in a year or two I might have the same thing of getting it done in the United States. So show it up. See, I, I wiggle like this, and it doesn't do anything. He wiggles, everything moves, man. It's like jelly up there. Right? So listen, Mitch, he's an inspiration. You guys are an inspiration. Now it's time for you to go forth and inspire your world. Cut your legs off, get a pole stuck up on the end of it. You'll be rocking just like us. Yeah, I'm going to go to the